Why why did you tell Moses? Why why did you tell Moses? Moses Moses take off thy feet for the ground you stand. Because the ground you stand is a holy ground. Yeah, as well as you did them blessing. No one, no one. That scripture said all for itself. Yeah. But Moses is telling him to strike the rock once, but he told me and strike it twice. Because he didn't have faith in himself. Father will have drink cold water from the rock. Where's your question, bro? Where's your question? 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 Uh, yeah. Hey. So, so you you, you saying the most high do it? Yeah. But what happened to Moses? You have twice. Uh huh. That was that was the 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 um. No, he didn't see the promised land because he didn't give the most high the glory for that. Yeah, the glory. Okay, that, that's it. Like so, what's your what's your point, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have any other questions? I mean, you know, you have any questions? You bring it out. It's your, it's your opportunity. You read the Bible, right? Yeah. I know too much. It's a good I'm, question. I know it from, from here. But you're not a reader? Yeah. You're not a read, though. Huh? You're not a read? I don't know. Not, not, not. All right, you're you honest. I'm going to know the Bible from here. But don't have any understanding. I guess your spirit telling you like, all right, this is wrong to do. Yeah, this is right to die. To be in a bullet mind, that's, that's not right. That's, a, that's, yeah. a, that's what you mean, right? That is not a good thing. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. A woman and a man, a, a woman and a man is supposed to do those things. Like a, a man and a but, you know, man is supposed to do those things. Yeah, but, uh, but, but, but just as that is wrong, right? And you know that is wrong. But you know shaving your beard is wrong, right? Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. So why do it? Yeah, scripture out. This is on Romans 2 verse 15. Now I start at 14. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, law, these having not the law, are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also being witness, witness. and their thoughts the mean while accusing or else excusing one another. That's right. Right. Yeah, so the law was in their hearts, girl. Just as how you know, spiritually simply, and are wrong from right. Well, that's what I said. So, it was just about that. It was a, a lot of brothers like you, they know in their heart that, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong. And even some of them knowing that it's wrong, they still do it. Even up, even up to today, there are a lot of you ask a lot of people, boy, oh, Christmas is a pagan holiday. But yes, they can't do it without celebrating. <laughs> and a lot of people who celebrate Christmas will talk about the Orisha Baptist. That they kill fish. But what's the difference between a person celebrating Christmas from a person celebrating carnival and a person up upholding the Shango Baptist religion? What's the difference? What's the difference? They're all wickedness, my brother. They're all wickedness. And wickedness, they can't justify wickedness. First John 5, verse 19. And we know that we are, the, are, 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 are of God, and the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world what? Lies, lies in, in wickedness. Christmas. Oh. Christmas about yeah. Christmas a lot of people can't even do with all the pork for Christmas. Christmas about I want a piece of pork. They can't do it all pork. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Hosea 14 and 1. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. That's right. Israel. Return unto the Lord, for thou art fallen by thy, by thy 
iniquity. That's right. So, what about Shannon, bro? What about Shannon? Christmas. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Christmas of all. Yeah. Serving the Lord. Then so all of it. Serving so God. Serving God. Just serving God. Give him more ways to boast. Tell me Give what him. about Christmas? It pertains to the most side. Christmas is just a. Uh, no, Christmas is just a. Uh, don't try to justify Christmas. Tell me what about Christmas? It's, that was the it's beneficial to the most high. No, so why not mention it? So why is not mentioned in the Bible? It's wickedness, my brother. Christmas is all about wickedness, my brother. There is no way I can justify even a woman just like a slut walking on the street, my brother. What's this woman in them? They're just like whores. And men want to justify them and say they're looking sweet. Okay, when the Bible says a woman should adorn themselves in mothers of power, my brother. That's right. Proverbs 17, verse 15. He that justified the wicked. He that justified, my brother. The wicked. He that justified the wicked. Listen, my brother. And he that condemned the just, even they both. Oh, abomination to the Lord. Uh, an abomination. So anytime you find a, a man trying to justify wickedness, my brother, it's abomination to the Lord. The scripture says it all. So there is no way you can justify Christmas in the Bible. And the most high, the most high curse. Because the most high beloved still have nothing to do with Christmas, my brother. It's all I'm wickedness. I'm I'm and death to your niggas that celebrate Christmas. That's man. right. Death to your niggas, man. Niggas love some Christmas, man. Y'all know what Christmas means. You keep everything else. Everything else, niggas, people need, people know to keep everything else. But in Heavenly Father's word, they don't know how to keep it. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord has speaking unto you, O house of Israel. That's right. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Learn not the what, my brother? Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of so heaven. So why you all are learning the ways of the heathen, my brother? Hmm. Hmm. And the most I said in the Bible, learn not the ways of the heathen. So Christmas is a heathen custom. For so why heathen, learn the way of the heathen? For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are vain. And for one cutting a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workman with the axe and the deck. You got a Christmas tree? Excuse, you got a Christmas tree? Yeah. yeah. They, they don't, they don't light with, up already. They deck it with silver and gold, and they fasten it with nails and summer. with hammers that move not. Yeah. You understand, my brother? So, the Bible can so, be Christmas tree. I want you to tell me, after hearing all of this, are we not reading our own words, my brother? We're reading of the word of the Heavenly Father. So who way are you going to follow, my brother? Are you going to follow the healing way or the more side way, my brother? The more side way. The point is on you. Well, that's not for you, real, real still follow the healing way. This is real short. The first Christians, the, the first Christians, listen, the first Christians did not celebrate Christmas. In fact, Christmas did not uh, did not become an official Christian holiday until the middle of the fourth century. But December twenty fifth was celebrated as a major pagan what pagan holiday for centuries and centuries, long before Christ was even born. It was a very dark occult festival that celebrated the birthday of the sun god in all various forms. Nimrod. And you have niggas going to church Sundays on high heel or Saturday and they feel they're more holy than anybody else. They're more holy than anybody else. But they keep it Christmas. They eat them pork. They eat them shark. They eat all these abominable things. They're committing adultery. They're committing they adultery a lot too. They have holes. All of these churches have been a holes. And do you know who the Bible said? A holes? A brother? Yeah. By the way, Jesus is not a Christian. Yeah, yeah. That's right. He is 
not a Christian. We 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 yeah. we we use the word uh, when you go into the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree represent the penis of Nimrod. The balls that you put on on, on a Christmas tree that represent the testicles of Nimrod. Now they got this white thing that you put on a Christmas tree that represent the semen of Nimrod. So when you bind down, you bound down to the penis of Nimrod. That's some dumbass nigga. Oh man, I'm the most Achilles too. Those foolish pastors and the weird. He hear the customs and he hears that. That's in a. You're looking Canadians. Nicholas, Nicholas, yes. And Nicholas, yes. Revelation. Somebody came with that. Come to Revelation. Yeah, two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Come to indoctrinate the, the Hebrew Israelites and them. Christianity, this Christianity, have nothing to do with God. Yeah, you got something real short, real quick. Nothing to do with God. Well, let me give you this real quick. The sacred tree, the which got truths. So what was the truths? The truths were Celtic witches. The Celtic witches. They believed that the spirit of their gods resided in the tree. Most ancient pagans knew the tree represented Nimrod. Reincarnated into Tammuz. Pagans also look upon the tree uh, as a phallic symbol. As a what? A phallic That's symbol. That's right. So the Christmas tree represents the penis. A phallic. The star. So the star on top of the um, on, on the Christmas tree yeah. is the five points of star, named the pencil form, which is a powerful symbol of Satan Ooh. and a sacred symbol of, of Nimrod. Mm. The candles. Represents the sun god's newly born fire. Pagans, the world over love, and use candles in their rituals and ceremonies. Number four, the mistletoe is a sacred plant of the truths, symbolizing plant, pagan blessings and fertility. The wreaths, so the wreaths that hang in their door, are circular, and they represent the female. Sexual or organs. Yeah, yeah. Don't zipper, don't the Nicolai jeans, because the most high sent me here then. Nicolation, right? So I bring the scripture first and then I'll break it up. Right? Revelation 2 and 15. So as thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Hmm. Right, so the most high said he hated the, doc the doctrine of the Nicolaitans or Nicolaitans or Nicolaitans, however oh, you want to pronounce it, right? So the word Nicolaitans, right? Is a compound of the Greek word Nike and Le Le Leos, right? Nike Leos or Nicholas. Nike is the name of the goddess of victory or the wind victory, and Leos is the Greek word for the la laity, which or devotees or followers, right? So who, who's representing Nike? You know, was that in the 80s or the 90s? Michael Jordan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, he was given honor to him to be what got us a victory, right? That's right, which was Satan. Right, and Saint Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas, right? Who appears in every year of in every year of the winter month of December. Um, remind us that Zeus, Jupiter, Mithra, Nimrod, Baal, Adon, Apollo, Tammuz, Bacchus, Bacchus, sorry. Whose birthday is on the 25th of December? So this all the doctrine of Nicolaitans, which is the Christian set back then, right? The pagan, well, 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 they were pushing pagan customs in the, in the worship of who we will call Jesus Christ. You understand? So they were mixing the two. I hate I despise your feast days, and I will not smell any of your soul and assembly. Your soul and assembly.